Hi, this is Manoj Yadav and you are watching Mechanotherapy. So guys, today we are going to discuss the concept of transducers. Transducer may be defined as a device which converts a physical quantity into an electrical signal. Now this electrical signal can be easily handled and used for measurement. The, uh, the process of converting energy from one form to another form is known as transduction. Now, examples of uh, transducer are microphones, loudspeakers, thermometers, etc. Discuss the classification of transducers. On the basis of uh, energy available, transducers can be uh, classified as active transducer and passive transducers. A transducer that does not require any external energy for its working is called an active transducer. For example, photovoltaic cell, piezoelectric transducer, etc. Another one is passive transducer. A transducer that requires energy from external power source for its working is called passive transducer. For example, potentiometer, resistive, inductive and capacitive type of transducers. Then we have primary and secondary transducers. A primary transducer converts a physical quantity into a mechanical signal. They include mechanical devices. The output of primary transducer is further converted by the secondary transducer. For example, Borden tube. Similarly, uh, secondary transducer. A secondary transducer converts a mechanical signal of the primary transducer into an electrical signal. They are electrical uh, uh, circuits whose output signal magnitude is proportional to the mechanical signal, for example, LBDT. So we can take the uh, example of uh, Borden tube for uh, pressure measurement. When we uh, use uh, Borden tube for pressure measurement, if uh, the result is uh, in the form of uh, voltage with the help of LVDT then Borden tube uh, is said to be the primary transducer and LVDT is said to be the secondary transducer. Then we have analog and uh, digital transducers. An analog transducer converts physical quantity into an electrical signal that is analog uh, in nature. That is its magnitude is continuous function of time. Its output is a continuous function. Uh, example of analog transducers are thermistors, thermocouples for temperature measurement, a piezoelectric sensor for pressure measurement, etc. Then we have digital transducer. A digital transducer converts a physical quantity into an electrical signal that is uh, digital in nature. That is, output signal is discrete and non-continuous both in magnitude and time. So the output signal is in binary form that is 0 and 1 called bits. It is used for inter interfacing the transducer directly with a microcontroller. Finally we have transducers and inverse transducer. As we have already discussed a transducer is a device that converts any form of energy or physical quantity into an electrical signal such as thermistor, microphone etc. Uh, Inverse transducer may be defined as a, a device that converts electrical energy into any other form of energy. Its name suggests its function is opposite to the transducer. Example of an inverse transducer is a speaker, a screen, servo motor, etc. I hope you must have liked the video. Thank you. Thank you everyone.